Mr. and Mrs. Large, why don't you come up? To return to the matter of Garth and Linda Large versus Pablo Pena and Amber Fox. We were here by Zoom on June 26th. We took quite a bit of testimony and I reviewed a large packet of photographs which supported. <clears throat> Just a minute. I don't come on this guy. Which supported Mr. and Mrs. Large's claim for at least $6,500 worth of damage. The photograph showed the property was in deplorable position, uh, condition. Uh, Mr. Lafferty, you came back. Did we forget something? No, I didn't know what happened. So I didn't know if I should log back in and just. Yeah, no, I excuse you. You're good to go. Oh, okay. All right. Um, they had filed a counterclaim for alleged property that it was kind of hard to discern. It was all scribbled on here. Um, they claimed that property was damaged when they had water damage from the roof giving way. So I continued the matter for live testimony and we could actually see the photographs and they aren't here. She also contended that she had a large Terminex bill, which I was somewhat leery about that the tenant would pay a very large amount to Terminex. Um, and I wanted to see it. Well, they aren't here. The bill's not here. No pictures are here, and they're not here to have anything to support their counterclaim. Mr. and Mrs. Large, let me put you under oath once again. You swear or affirm any testimony you give again here today will be true to the best of your knowledge and belief. Yes. Uh, anything further? Since we were here two weeks ago, you did send some additional pictures which also showed a lot of damage. I'm looking for Amber Fox or Pablo Pena. Anything yeah. since we were last here? Yes, Your Honor. After we left court, I called Terminux and I talked to the branch manager, uh, Mr. Kevin DeVos, and uh, they did indeed sign a year contract for the amount that they stated but they had it, they canceled it uh, and let's see, they canceled it in July. Um, and he explained to them they would still owe that money. And she got really irate with him and they never paid it and it was turned over to collection. So they, they never did pay that money. All right. You were also going to get the last Three Rivers City inspection yes. date. Do you have the date of that? I do. That was uh, September 15th of 2021. All right. So they were quite animated, but they aren't here to back any of it up. Um, very good. Your property was approved by Safe Bill, Mr. Joe Klein. Uh, in Three Rivers and Sturgis, so we have the benefit of having the property regularly inspected, sometimes out in the townships or other villages like the Wild West. People are renting things that really are not up to code. City of Three Rivers does a good job at it, and so does Sturgis. But um, they're not here, live or otherwise. I find for the plaintiff. Zero for counterclaim. The amount of six thousand five hundred dollars plus costs of ninety seven dollars and ninety five oh one for a total of six thousand six ninety two oh one. 
I expected they were going to be here. We were going to have a big go round. Maybe somewhat moot because trying to collect on this will be something else. Right. Right. Whenever I see pictures like this, I think I'm sure glad I'm not a landlord. And the before and after pictures are quite telling. The, the property was quite neat and tidy, and then it was something else altogether. And and you're doing it yourself. So right. what you testified last week is since they moved out, you've been back in it. It's hard to make any profit when you spend ten thousand dollars with a loss. Right. Uh, but if you go out to the counter, the clerk will give you a copy of that judgment. They do have 21 days before you can take any collection action, but you're free to go. Yeah, thank you. It would make Penny very happy if you would like, subscribe, and leave us a comment.